to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, Dr. Yukon Suckett. I am bringing to you a deck that I found over on Aetherhub, uh, referred to as Toxicity, and it is all about death touch. Uh, we threw in there, there's a Thin the Fang Bearer, so that makes that death touch into poison counters. So, uh, this is a, this is an extreme, once again, a ridiculous example of how things go. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, usually when you play with poison, you try to pull this off, it's kind of fragile. It gets broken. But this seems like it just doubles down on it. So maybe maybe we can swing. We'll see what it does. So anyways, to start off with, we have Blizzard Brawl, which is going to turn your, your poison guys into, you know, anything killing machines. Uh, on the light side, we also got Snakeskin Veil, which keeps you guys gives you guys protect your hex proof. We've got uh, Tanyo's Safekeeping, which gives them hex proof and indestructible. So we got a lot of things going on that's going to keep your guys alive. Uh, uh, what else we got here? We got Compelled Duel. So target and creature gets plus three plus three until end of turn. It must be blocked this turn if able. All right. So yeah, that means that. It must be blocked. I guess that's by just one guy. Uh, I'm going to say because there's a unicorn that's pretty sweet that everything has to block if it goes. It might be worth putting in here. But anyway, so uh, you got a bunch of stuff that says, yeah, my guys are going to live. And they're going. you have to get into a fight with it one way or the other. Uh, to, to do the fighting, we've got uh, this guy who's a snake ninja. And he's a 1-1 with death touch. We've got Toro Bite Blade, who is a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch. We've got, uh, what do we got here? Toxic Scorpion, who is a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch. And he, can, he gives another creature Death Touch until the end of the turn. Here is a Ninja Turtle, who is a 1-3 with, it looks like, Death Touch. And he's got Ninjutsu, which means return unblocked attacker you control to your hand. Put this card onto the battlefield from your hand. Tapped and attacking. And that you can choose when he does damage to a player to remove the death touch counter and exile target artifact or enchantment that player controls. So he's, he's got a little something. Uh, we got uh, Finn the Fang Bearer, who when he's out, anytime any creature deals combat damage, you know, with that with that shot, he's combat damage to a player. The player gets two poison counters, and if they have ten or more poison counters, they lose the game. So. Yeah, we just got to get this guy out and let everybody else do the work. Oh, we got Toski, the bearer of secrets. So his deal is he's indestructible. He cannot be countered. He's relatively cheap at four to put out, but he has to attack every turn if he's able, which is usually fine because, like, he'll live. No big deal. And then um, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. So the good thing about him also is that that, that scorpion could give him death touch as well. So... We got an indestructible death touch murder machine running around. A uh, looks like a weird looking squirrel is what he's supposed to be or something. Who else are we missing out on here? Oh, wild shape. So wild shape is choose one until the turn target creature you control has a base power and toughness becomes the creature and gains that ability. So it's either a turtle, a spider, or an elephant with trample. And so it can either have hex proof reach or trample. Yeah, that trample actually could help quite a bit in this situation. We'll have to see how things go. Uh, the lands were a little different originally. We had uh, four. God, what were they? Uh, the one that lets you, uh, the go and get whatever kind you want. But the problem is, I didn't see what the point of that was. And of course, you know, I'm a big fan of Field of Ruin. So I swapped out uh, the four something lands. Let's see if I can find out what they were called here. Um, Evolving Wilds for two Field of Runes and two Lair of the Hydra. And so we still have 16 snow-covered forests. Nothing in the sideboard. We don't have any learn, nothing like that going on. So this is it. It's just lots and lots of Death Touch. We got Finn the Fang Bearer, and then a bunch of like fight and protection spells. So this is very much mono green, and we are going to see how it does. All right, we are fighting against Psy. I guess. Psy. Why don't people invest in capital letters anymore? All right, so we got two mana and no creatures. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan on this one. All right, two mana. We got a bunch of creatures. That's cool. 
I'm going to go ahead and keep. And who am I going to get rid of here? Uh, the Ninja Turtle. And there we go. Poison on the table, Bim. Or not poison, but death touch on the table, my friends. All right, two down, which means we're going to get out our friend Fen. And all in. Okay, so now the Blizzard Brawls have to keep everything clean for us. We're going to go, and Snakeskin Veils have to keep guys alive. And we're done. He's got to answer do something on his next turn, otherwise he's dead. And that's it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We're playing against Matsu, who apparently invested in all of the capital letters. Got that capital letter money. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of some creatures here. Keep. So I don't know if like, is like um, mulliganing until you get a fin, is that the best course for this deck? Or is it cool just to sit back and take everybody out with uh, Blizzard Brawls essentially? Dragon's approach. One. Yeah, whatever, man. Remind me not to click too quickly here. All right, we got a Ninja Turtle. With that uh, one for power, I just want to see the point of it. All right, he's trying to kill somebody here. Let's keep them alive. Got a long way to go if we're just going to be pinging them to death. There's the opportunity to kill. I am tapped out. Guys, throwing a lot of a lot of stuff in the garbage here. What are we throwing back here? Oh, dragons approaches. Yeah, he's gonna pull out a dragon. Oh, let's see. Here we go. We've got uh, field of ruin. We're good to go. In for the tax. Yeah. So yeah, those blizzard brawls are going to help, but they are sorceries, so I'm not be able to do it on his turn. Uh, nope. Decline. There's nothing to do. Yeah, when I was playing this, it was always Velomachus I was looking for. And then all that crap in here becomes something you could throw. If you're looking for sorceries, then. This might be his fifth one here. Yep, he's going to pull a dragon now. Velomachus, of course it is. I'm going to have to kill him on my next turn, provided that my dudes live through it. Come on, don't sweep the leg. Don't do it. That's just one. That's fine. Okay. You miss with the Viper. 
you get the fangs. Nope. Let's go in for the attack. Tamiya will keep us alive. Uh, they can't defend, so whatever. Decline. All right, come on. Oh no, she wolfed out. Draw a card. All right, maybe she needs to die. Uh, non-dragon creature. Who do I want to keep alive? I guess the ninja turtle. I can't cast the sorcery, so this is pretty much it. That's a sorcery as well. Decline to take the action, and we're done. Nine more turns to go. I uh, yep, that's it. Looks like. Oh, good. He's just attacking me. What are we looking at here? One, two, three, four. What does he need? Like a. Like I think it's five or something like that. All right, Scorpion. Double, double death touch. Decline. All right, and I gotta remember that I can do a plus three, which means if he's got four less life, I can totally take him down. There's Finn, that's who I need. There we are, that's much better. And I got nothing that's gonna keep him alive. If he sweeps the board, I got problems. I think he's dead then. And we win. Well, that is a weird thing the Ninja Turtle's doing down there. Victory! So we're going to be against Haha -ha Hacker. I'm not sure I pronounced that correctly. And we got three mana, which is nice. We got Finn. All right, this is looking great. I mean, yeah, this I can't ask for anything better than this. Keep. Twirly, twirly. You gonna give it up? Okay, now the big deal is I do not have any open mana at the moment, so this is a precarious situation to be in. If I was him, I would shoot Finn immediately. All right, there we go. So now I got some, I got two things that keep my dudes alive. I guess hex proof and plus one. Let's, uh, let's go in.
All right, so what do we need here? You want to deal with one. Let's go for three, three elephants. The trample. And let's make them live. And we're done. And we win! Suck it, haha, -ha, hacker! Suck it! Toxicity, what can we say? I mean, we played three games, we went 100% wins. Mostly because just people were not prepared to deal with it. I mean, I can see we're not playing ranked or anything, we're just an open play. They don't like what they're seeing, they just exit. You know, there's 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 really nothing really to lose except for your overall win rating here. But uh, nobody would stand up against it. They were it was it was pretty incredible. So yeah, the 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 cheap creature tricks, I guess the tricksy stuff you do with the uh, snakeskin veils and the Tamiyo safekeeping and the wild shape, that is some pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah, and you know the big secret is you really need Finn and you need him early. So it may be worth mulliganing the first, you know, one or two hands if you don't get Finn to try to get him. Because, and you can see if, if you're not, you're just pinging at him one at a time until eventually you can get Finn into play. So, yeah. so anyways, I have a hard time saying this is a bad deck because it did very well. It did very well. Um, I think it's one off and not that people are just not expecting it. I think you could probably ride this pretty far uh, on the ladder right now. I think you could. It, I mean, if it became popular, it will be destroyed. People will, I mean, it's not hard to figure out how to get around it. Uh, but right now, it, it's unexpectedness is what's giving it its, its incredible, incredible power. Let's see. So who is the real? See, the guy that I was the most concerned with is this guy, the Ninja Turtle. Because I don't like the fact that he potentially could lose his... Uh, his, his deal there but you know he only costs two he only costs two for his ninjutsu i mean i guess the good thing is you could go in there with one of your one ones they think well i'm gonna suck it up then you ninjutsu it and then you end up killing whatever you're killing because it only deals one or two points of damage and then you're like haha i killed your dude even though uh and your my guy lives and then you're able to pay that last put that last guy out on your next turn i mean yeah, and you don't have to give up on the tokens, so I guess he has death touch as long as you want him to. Uh, this is this is okay. I mean, it's a one one for one, or for two, which makes him more expensive than the others. He gives other dudes death touch, but the thing is, everybody else you got has death death touch. It's just Toski. Toski is the only dude that you could help from the from the. I guess the other thing is that potentially you could do it to like Lair of the Hydra or something too. Okay, I'm beginning to feel the Toxic Scorpion a little bit more. So. Um, yeah, I mean, the real deal here is Finn. He holds this whole deck together. The other cards, you know, it's like there's just a bunch of them, and they kind of do the same thing, And yet, but you have enough now that you're getting to them. That's what's important, is you got enough so that it's a full-on mechanic in your deck, and the chances of you having the cards to make it happen go are pretty dang good. And you saw that. They were working great. So anyways, that is the Toxicity deck. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Hey, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you could like or subscribe to this video because it helps me out a lot. I just want to remind you that you've made this day a special day just by being you. There is no person in the world like you, and I like you just the way you are. I hope to see you back here tomorrow, folks. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye.